toxins have such a huge effect on human behavior. And it's really important to understand this because the silicofluorides increase the absorption of the toxins. To, to understand how it is that lead or silicofluoride should affect, affect behavior and change the way we behave or think, you have to understand how the brain works just normally. Uh, we know there are some, some people who have learning disabilities of uh, particular kinds and that has to do with some part of that system really does not function normally. But let me just talk about the, 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 the basic pattern of the system. You have these uh, neurons or brain cells and each one when a current comes through or an impulse comes through, when something is released across that membrane at the other end of the receptor cell, it's called the receptor, there's, it's, it's the equivalent of putting a plug in a wall plug because there's a, when, when a chemical gets into this receptor, it fires the same impulse that came, was coming down that previous cell. So if you have some lead in there, it can block the transmission, like putting chewing gum in a, in a light socket. Lead interferes with dopamine, which interferes with learning, and then you have effects on the brain size, and you have lifelong effects because poor children have less calcium in their diet. Lead and calcium have both the same electronic charge. They're divalent cations. They have an electric charge of two electrons. So that you have a particular place in a protein and there's supposed to be a calcium there. If there's no calcium, the lead can stick there, change the shape of the protein. The protein doesn't work. So there, there are a number of different pathways. I don't understand any of these fully. I may be wrong on one or more of them. But there are so many different pathways by which lead and the use of silicon fluorides harm young children. We can't get rid of all the lead in the environment very easily, but we can easily get rid of water in the silicon fluoride in the glass the child drinks. All we have to do is that the water company turn the knob off. That's not very hard.